Hi everyone, I'm Lisbeth. Thank you for tuning in on Moseholm Yoga. In this yoga video, we're going to focus on the balance. So we're going to play around with different moves of ways of practicing the balance to keep it strong and healthy. To begin with, just find a comfortable seated position. Anyhow, you sit nice and tall. You can let your hands rest to your thighs. And then close your eyes for a moment. Just take a moment to settle on your yoga mat. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. Just like the trees in the wind. Letting your focus drift a bit deeper inwards. Take a deep breath in by your nose. And a long, slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Take another deep breath in, and this time you let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top, bring your palms together, close your eyes, and bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take another deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. One more time, a deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Just simply notice your heart pumping. And then let your hands rest to your thighs and gently open your eyes. From here you come to all four on your hands and your knees. You can spread your fingers nice and wide and gently press them towards the yoga mat. And then just start moving your spine around anyhow it feels good to move. You can arch it, you can round it. You can move your body side to side, round and round, forward and back. Any kind of little move that feels good. Take in some deep breath. And let all your moves start from the center of your body right from the middle and feel how the rest of your body just follows, just comes along. On an inhale you arch your back, tuck your toes and as you exhale let your hips come towards your heels. Take another deep breath in as you lift your hips up nice and high and exhale you easy gently make your way into your downward facing dog. And just take your time to settle in your down dog. Maybe a gentle walk on the spot. Shifting your body weight from one heel to the opposite. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep breath in as you lift up nice and high to your tippy toes. Lift your hips up high. And exhale, ease your gently heels back down towards the ground. Two more times, inhale, lift up nice and high to your tippy toes. And exhale, ease your knees, excuse me, your heels to the ground. One more time, inhale, lift up nice and high to your tippy toes. And exhale, ease your gently heels to the ground. And then inhale, you roll forward into a plank pose, maybe gentle sway side to side. Or maybe rock a bit forward and back. Just keep your breath flowing. Nice and easy. Again, on an inhale, you lift up your hips, come back to your down dog. One more time, roll forward into a plank pose, rock a bit more side to side this time. You can lean all the body weight to one side, so much you can lift the opposite arm free of the ground into the air. And then you swap, come back through the middle, lean to the opposite side, lift up one arm. And then like that, just rock a few times side to side. Shifting the body weight from one side to the other. 
breathe in deep. Again, back to the middle, both hands to the ground. One more time, lift your hips up nice and high and come back to your down dog. And then inhale again, roll forward into your plank pose, rock a bit side to side. And this time we want to go all the way into a side plank. So first you lean towards your left side. Roll back through the middle, come to the right side, lift up your hips, come all the way into a side plank, lifting up your left arm to the sky, open up. Gaze towards the sky. Any version of a side plank you prefer. Maybe feet stacked or unstacked. Or you can lift up the top leg if you prefer. Or you can always bring any inner shin down for a bit more stability. <laughs> See where you're at. Coming back through the middle, both hands to the ground, rock a bit side to side. Lean to the right, roll back through the middle, come to the left side, lift up your hips. Into a side plank, lift your right arm to the sky, open up. And again, just play a bit around with the balance, stack your feet, keep them unstacked, lift up a top leg or anything at all. Just breathe in deep. Coming back to your plank in the middle, both hands to the ground. Lower your knees, lower your hips down for a nice up dog. You can move your spine how it feels good to move. And then you lower all the way down to your chest and your belly. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your arms behind you as you relax your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe rock a bit side to side. Just breathe in deep. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, you lower all the way back down. Place your palms to the ground, relax your shoulders back and down. Inhale, stretch your arms, lift up your chest. And then lift your hips, bring your hips to your heels into a child's pose. Taking a few deep breaths, maybe gentle sway side to side. On an inhale again, you lift up your hips, come tall, four on your hands and your knees, moving your spine however it feels good to move. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up nice and high. And come all the way back to your downward facing dog. Taking a few deep breaths. On an inhale, you lift up your right leg down dog, split open up your hip. And take a few breaths to move around to the side of the hip joint. You can bend the knee, you can stretch it out, you can swing the leg around anyhow it feels good to release and open up. Again, on an inhale, you stretch your leg nice and long towards the sky. And exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Press your feet against the ground. Inhale, takes you up nice and tall. And exhale, soft and halfway down. One more time, inhale, fill up. And as you exhale, you make a twist to the right side, arms open nice and wide. And then you stay in your twist as you lean back, reverse. Exhale, coming forward, place your left hand to the ground, lift your right arm to the sky for a nice twist. Again, both hands to the ground, spin your back foot and heel down, open triangle, reach your left arm to the sky, open up, breathe in deep. And then you softly bend your front knee, reach your top arm back behind you, lift yourself up tall. And exhale, warrior two. On an inhale, lean back, reverse warrior. And exhale, coming forward, keep going all the way into a warrior three, lifting up the left leg. Just feel the balance on your right foot. Keep your right hand to the ground. Lean to the right, lift your left arm to the sky for a nice open half moon. Just feel how you roll your hip open. From here you softly bend both knees, coming into twisted half moon, left hand to the ground, lift your right arm to the sky, twist your spine. One more open half moon, right hand down, lean to the right, lift your left arm to the sky and open up, gaze to the sky. Again, both hands to the ground, step your left foot back down, lift yourself up tall and back into your warrior two. On an inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, both hands to the ground and step back to your down dog. Breathe in deep. Same thing, left side, inhale, lift up your left leg down dog, split, open up your hip. 
and take a few breaths to move around to this side of the hip joint. You can bend the knee, you can stretch the leg, you can swing it and move it around anyhow it feels good to just release and open up. Take another deep breath in as you stretch your leg nice and long towards the sky. And exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Press your feet against the ground, inhale, take your tall arms to the sky. And exhale, soft and halfway down, just let your arms fall down. One more time, inhale to fill up. Exhale, you make a twist to the left side, arms over nice and wide. Stay in your twist as you lean back, reverse. And then coming forward, right hand to the ground. Lift your left arm to the sky, lift up your hips for a nice twist of your spine. Breathe in deep. From here, both hands to the ground. Spin your back foot and heel down, open triangle. Reaching up your right arm to the sky, open up, gaze to the sky. And then you softly bend your front knee, reach your top arm back behind you, lift yourself up tall. And exhale, warrior two. And then inhale, you lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, keep going forward all the way into your warrior three, lifting up your right leg. Feel the balance on your left foot. Keep your left hand to the ground as you lean to the left. Lift your right arm to the sky for a nice open half moon, roll your hip open. Again, you softly bend your knees, coming into a twisted half moon, right hand to the ground, lift your left arm to the sky. Open up this way. One more open half moon, softly bend your knees, left hand to the ground, lift your right arm to the sky, open up. And again, both hands to the ground, step your right foot down, lift yourself up tall. And exhale, warrior two. And then inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale again, coming forward, both hands to the ground and step back to your down dog. Breathe in deep. One more time on an inhale, you lift up your right leg down dog, split open up your hip. And exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Press your feet against the ground, inhale, takes you up nice and tall. And exhale, soft and halfway down, let your arms come down. One more time, inhale, fill up. And exhale, warrior two, just ground your feet, settle in your warrior. Take a deep breath in as you lean back, reverse. Exhale, coming forward, bend your knee, rest your forearm to your thigh, lift your back onto the sky, open up. And if it feels good, you can move around your left arm, your shoulder, your upper body. Anyhow, it feels good to release and open up. And then inhale again, you lift up nice and tall arms to the sky. And exhale, warrior two. One more time, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward one more time into your warrior three, lifting up your left leg. Feel the balance on your right foot. Softly bend your knees as you roll up to stand. Bring your left knee with you on the way. You can give it a squeeze. You can rock the hip. Maybe open out to the side. Either just keep the knee bended or you can straighten out the leg, holding your foot, your toe, your heel. Just open up. Just breathe in deep. Again, coming back to the middle. <laughs> and if you lose the balance, don't worry about it. You regain it. Come back to the middle. Bend your knee. Hold your left knee, right hand, reach your left arm back behind you, coming into a nice twist. Breathe in deep. That's why we have to keep practicing the balance. Keep it stable, more or less, coming back to the middle. And one more time, you hold your left knee, rock your hip, maybe give it a squeeze. Then again, let go, dive back down to your warrior three, hands to the ground, straighten out your left leg. And bring your left foot to the ground, lift yourself up tall, and back into your warrior two. Inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, both hands to the ground. And step back to your down dog. Breathe in deep. Same thing, left side. Inhale, lift up your left leg, down dog, split, open up your hip. And exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Press your feet against the ground. Inhale, takes you up nice and high. And exhale, soft and halfway down. Relax your arms down the sides. One more time, inhale to fill up. And exhale, warrior two. Ground your feet, settle in your warrior. Take a deep breath in as you lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, bend your knee, rest your forearm to your thigh, lift your back arm to the sky, open up. And if it feels good, you can move around your right arm, your right shoulder, your upper body, anyhow it feels good 
to release and open up. Breathe in deep. On an inhale again, you lift up nice and tall arms into the sky. And exhale, warrior two. On an inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward. Keep going forward one more time into your warrior three. Feel the balance in your left foot. And then you softly bend your knees as you roll up to stand. Bringing your right knee with you on the way. You can give it a squeeze, a little hug. Rock the hip. Open out to the side. Either bend the knee or if you want to Hold your foot, your toe, your heel, and then straightening out your right leg. Just open out to the side. Breathe in deep. Again, from here, you bend your knee. Come back through the middle. Hold your right knee, left hand, right arm back behind you. Come into another twist of your spine. Breathe in deep. Again, back to the middle. Hold your right knee, right hand. Rock your hip. You can open out. And then you dive back down, hands to the ground, straightening your right leg back behind you. Step your foot to the ground, lift yourself up tall. And back into your warrior two. Inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, both hands to the ground. And step back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. And then you walk your hands back to your feet, one step at a time. As you reach your toes, just bend your knees, let your torso fold over your legs. And then inhale, you roll up to stand, one notch at a time. Open your arms out to the side, reach to the sky. At the top, you grab your right wrist, stretch your body nice and long. Scoop your hips to the right, stretch your arms to the left. Maybe gentle sway. Opening up. Breathe in deep. And then inhale back for the middle, grab the opposite wrist, stretch your body nice and long, scoop your hips to the left, stretch your arms to the right. Breathe in deep. And then inhale back for the middle, stretch your body nice and tall, maybe a small back bend. And exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs. Inhale to lift up halfway long, flat back. And exhale, palms down. And this time you walk your hands all the way forward into a plank pose. Maybe rock a bit side to side. Lowering your knees and your hips down for another up dog. Just simply move how it feels good here. You can straighten your arms, lift up your chest. And then lift your hips, bring your hips to your heels into a child's pose. Just taking a few deep breaths. On an inhale, again, you lift up your hips, come tall, fall on your hands and your knees. Moving your spine however it feels good to move. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up nice and high, and come back to your down dog. Breathe in deep. On an inhale, you lift up your right leg, down dog, split, open up your hip. And exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Press your feet against the ground, inhale, takes you up nice and high. And exhale, soft and halfway down, let your arms come down. One more time, inhale, fill up. And exhale into your warrior two, ground your feet. Take another deep breath in as you fill up, reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, warrior two. On an inhale, you lean back, reverse warrior, you can stretch the front leg. And exhale, coming forward, keep going forward into your warrior three, lift up your left leg. Soften through your knees as you roll up to stand. Bring your left knee with you on the way. You can give it a squeeze. You can rock the hip. And this time you come into a tree pose, placing your foot wherever you want to place it. Maybe your shin, maybe your inner thigh. Do whatever you want to do with your arms and the rest of your body. Maybe a tree moving with the wind. Or maybe just standing nice and tall. Arms to the sky, maybe gaze to the sky. Or maybe palms together, namaskar. Thumbs to your heart. You decide it's your tree. Just breathe in deep. Again, coming out of your tree pose and coming into your dancer's pose instead. So instead of 
Now you hold the foot from the inside, let your foot rest to your hand. Take a deep breath in as you let your left leg glide back behind you, reach your right arm forward. Just breathe in deep, opening up. Again, coming back through the middle, softening out of your dancer's pose. You can give your knee a squeeze, rock the hip. One more time, you dive down to your warrior three, stretching out your left leg. Step your foot to the ground, lift yourself up tall and into your warrior two. Inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, both hands to the ground and step back to your down dog. Breathe in deep. Same thing, left side, inhale, lift up your left leg, down dog, split, open up your hip. And exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Press your feet against the ground, inhale, takes you up nice and high. And exhale, soft and halfway down, arms down the side. One more time, inhale to fill up. And exhale, warrior two, just ground your feet, settle in your warrior. Take another deep breath in as you let your arms float up high, stretch your legs. And exhale, warrior two. On an inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, keep going forward one more time into your warrior three, lifting up your right leg. Softening through your knees as you roll up to stand, bring your right knee with you on the way. You can give it a squeeze, rock the hip. Coming into your tree pose, placing your foot where you want, inner thigh, maybe your shin, or maybe toes down. Sometimes it feels nice to have a bit more stability. Any version of your tree. Maybe a tree moving in the wind. Anything at all. Just finding your tree pose. Breathing nice and easy. When you're ready, you softly come out of your tree pose and then you Hold your foot from the inside, let your foot rest to your hand, coming into your dancer's pose. Take a deep breath in as you let your right leg glide back behind you, reach your left arm to the front. Just opening up, breathe in deep. And again, soften out of your dancer's pose, you can give your knee a little squeeze. Again, let it go, dive down to your warrior three, stretch out your leg. Step your right foot to the ground, lift yourself up tall. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lean back, reverse. And exhale, coming forward, both hands to the ground. And step back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. Inhale, roll forward into your plank pose. Maybe rock a bit side to side. Just one more side plank. Starting on your right side. So first you lean to the left. Roll back through the middle, lift up your hips, coming into a side plank, lift your left arm to the sky. And if you want, you step your right foot a small step behind you to a nice back bend, opening up. Again, back to your plank in the middle. Both hands to the ground, rock a bit side to side. Lean to the right, roll back through the middle, lift up your hips, come to a side plank on your left side, right arm to the sky. And if you want, you step your left foot a small step, excuse me, um, Right foot a small step behind you for a nice back bend, opening up. Again, back to your plank in the middle, both hands to the ground. Lower your knees, lower your hips down for your up dog. Move a bit here. Come all the way down, chest and belly. Relax your shoulders back and down, inhale, lift into your cobra pose. Chest off the ground. Maybe gentle sway side to side. Take another deep breath in. And long, slow breath out as you lower down. Inhale to straighten your arms, lift up your chest. And then lift your hips, bring your hips to your heels into a child's pose. Take another few deep On an inhale again, you lift up your hips, come to your hands and your knees and all form of your spine, how it feels good to move. 
Tuck your toes, lift your hips up nice and high and come back to your down dog. Taking a few deep breaths. And then you walk your hands and your feet so they meet in the middle of your yoga mat. As your hands and feet they meet, you bend your knees, let your torso fold over your legs. On an inhale, you roll up to stand one at a time. Open your arms out to the side, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, bend your knees, fold over your legs. Inhale to lift up halfway long, flat back. And exhale, palms down. Bring some more weight to your hands and more distance between your feet. So you can bend your knees and come into a nice squat position, maybe rock a bit side to side. And then just one last balancing pose before the last few stretches and shavasana. We're just going to play a bit around with a crow pose. So all you need to do is to stay here in your squat pose, maybe rock a bit side to side, maybe leaning backwards to make sure you take it nice and easy. And then you just place your hands in front of you. Keep your gaze forward as you lean your body forward. Maybe just one foot comes off the ground and then make your way backwards. Just take it nice and easy, maybe rock a bit side to side. One more time, both hands to the ground, lean your body weight forward. Maybe the opposite foot comes off the ground. And again, coming backwards, <sighs> breathe in deep. One more time, place your hands in front of you, lean your body weight forward. Maybe both feet comes off the ground. Just play a bit around, just having some fun. And once you had enough, just bring your hips to the ground, straightening your legs out to either sides of your yoga mat, keeping your hands behind you, lean your body backwards. Take a deep breath in. And you can lift up your hips if it feels good to just open up your body. And again, gently bring your hips back down to the ground. Bring your legs together, bend your knees. Turn around and roll down to your back. Bring your knees with you to your chest for a nice little squeeze. Nice little hug. Maybe drawing circles with your hips. And now take your time to do any kind of stretch, any kind of move you feel like before your Shavasana. Anything at all. Might be a twist, a back bend, any kind of move. You decide. Just take your time to do whatever you're in the mood for. And once you're ready, you make your way into your Shavasana position. Anyhow you like comfortable for the last relaxing part of your yoga practice. Just close your eyes. And let your focus drift a bit deeper inwards. Deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. Deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. Just let your whole body relax. Let the floor carry your body weight. And just simply notice every inhale and every exhale as they come and go.
deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. You can stay as long as you prefer in your Shavasana. When you feel ready to slowly bring some movement back to your body, start by deepening your inhales, lengthening your exhales. Slowly begin moving your fingers and your toes, wrists and ankles arms and legs, maybe your head side to side, just move and stretch however it feels good. And maybe draw your knees to your chest one more time, give yourself an eye tuck. And then just keep your eyes closed as you roll to one side of your body and make your way up to a comfortable seated position. However, you sit nice and tall. Relax your shoulders back and down. Maybe your gentle sway side to side. Together, we take a deep breath in by the nose. Let your arms float out to the sides and all the way up high. At the top, bring your palms together, close your eyes, and bring your thumbs to your heartbeat. Relax your shoulders back and down. Take another deep breath in by your nose. And long, slow breath out by your mouth. One more time, a deep breath in. And long, slow breath out. And as you feel your heart pumping, thank yourself for taking your time for your yoga practice today. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Namaste. I hope you feel good. And I hope you had fun playing with the balance. See you soon.